Hi everyone, just going to do a couple of quick videos this evening showing off some of the work I've recently completed. This is Suladan from the Games Workshop Lord of the Rings range. Um, I believe in the book he's referred to as the Serpent Lord. He's um, killed by um, Theoden at the Battle of Penelope Fields and I believe Games Workshop added him into the range just to flesh out the, um, I think it's the Haradrim lists a bit. So the first impressions of this was it is fine cast, um, which is okay at times. Um, sometimes you can lose some of the finer details a bit, so his face was a bit of a pain to paint. Um, you also have to be very careful because when you're trimming, trimming the model, the resin can quite easily snap. That's true with most resins, but fine cast seems particularly a bit of a pain in the ass. So I've done these as a commission. I've done foot and mounted version. You can see it looks very, um, very sort of tribal with the way he's got these tusks and everything on there. And then also almost got like slightly reminiscent of like Japanese samurai with flags attached to their back. I believe it was samurai. So it is a, was a very nice model to paint, but in some places, and it's probably more noticeable now with Finecast versus Forge World, some of the areas of detail weren't particularly great. But I'm I am very happy with how he has come out. I've based him slightly differently to my normal method. I've done a like a desert type base. That's just paint and sand, and then a couple of tufts put on. So he's the first one I finished. I won't bother making separate videos because these aren't going to be very long at all. Next up, these are the heroes of Dunland. So these are Forge World resin as opposed to fine cast. They've recently come out. Um, you've got the Oathmaker on the right here. He is actually in the film. You see him. He's the one who cuts his hand and says, we serve Saruman. These other two, I believe, are... Um, I don't know if they're Games Workshop inventions or if they've picked some names out of one of the books somewhere, but you don't see these two in the films. So you got Gorolf, I think. Um, Frida. I think that's her name. I can't remember. She's got a pretty cool special rule. I think she gets to re-roll wounds to kill horses, and I think it's a bubble effect, so it affects anyone within three meters of her, three three inches of her, which is pretty good because means that if you're a Rohan army charging in to get them, they're getting a chance to wound your horses. And if they don't wound, they can re-roll. So that's pretty pretty good. Um, they're very nice models. A lot of detail on them, as always with Forge World. Which, compared to Finecast, is a delight to paint. Really enjoyed this guy's face. They've almost perfectly captured the essence of uh, the guy in the film. It's even just the details, like the strapping on the back of his belt here. Little details like that that really make a difference. She's got shield on the back. And they are very, very nice. Not really too sure how good they are in game. Um, I don't know anyone who's actually got a Dunland army that's painted that they play with. I know people who've got bits and pieces. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, I've got a couple other bits and pieces I've been working on, so I'll um, have some videos coming with those. But I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.